Hey guys, how is it going? Today is the day that Christina Aguilera released her um, fifth studio album, sixth studio album, twelfth studio album. I honestly have no idea at this point. Um, now, I will say that this isn't an album I'm hugely excited to listen to. It's not an album that I was really anticipating. Um, but you know, it's her first album in six years, and that's a huge gap between Lotus and now, um, Liberation. So I really am genuinely excited for this album, but not as excited as I should be, um, more so because of the, uh, buzz singles and the singles released up until now. Um, but I will give this album a shot, um... And it is right here. It is called Liberation. Um, and I'm not going to be playing any of the songs in this review because, again, I don't really know how the whole copyright thing works. I'm still new to YouTube. Um, in some, you know, reviews, um, you know, some people play the song, some people don't. I've heard, you know, people getting copyright strikes if you play songs. Like, I, I still don't really know. I mean, I did some digging. And I still don't really know, so to be safe, I will not be playing any of the songs in this uh, video. Um, maybe leave a comment and tell me what I can and cannot do in the purpose of a review. And by the way, it's like really late right now. It's like 1.30 in the morning, so sorry if I like talking a little bit quietly. Um, anyway, I'm going to start off with the first song, Liberation. And this is my very first time listening to the... Uh, album i only listened to the three singles released up until now or maybe like four songs that were released up until now um the rest are brand new to me so um yeah i'm excited so anyone who is familiar with um christina aguilera albums knows that she always has these interlude tracks usually the first track of her albums is usually really short it's only about maybe a minute or like you know, a minute and a half, two minutes. And it's usually instrumental. Um, in this case, it's no different. Uh, the first track is called Liberation. It's a very short track. It's very instrumental. And it's kind of, it kind of, I guess, sets the tone for the rest of the album. Um, again, nothing special or anything. Um, just, you know, a very short snippet to kind of get you in the mood for the album. Okay, so the next two tracks are called Searching for Maria and Maria. Uh, so anyone who has seen The Sound of Music knows that Searching for Maria, um, How Do You Solve a Problem Like Maria, um, is from The Sound of Music. And track number two is like kind of like another prelude song. It's only 25 seconds long. Um, I like to call it, you know, a throwaway song. Um, it's one of those songs you usually just delete. Um, it's more so there for, you know, if you're listening to the album in full. It kind of, like, is a bridge from one song to the next. Um, and then it goes on to the third track, which is called Maria. Um, it's... I don't really know what to make of that song. It's, I guess, good, okay. Um, it's not a song I would typically listen to. Again, I get the feeling from this, um... Uh, album that it's a lot like um, Alicia Keys' latest album that came out two years ago. I forget what the name of that album was called, but it has that same feel. It's very soulful. It's very eclectic. Um, it has a very raw, um, almost, I guess, I wouldn't say artsy. It has that, I, I don't really know how to explain it, but it reminds me of that album. Okay, on to track number four. Okay, track number four is called Sick of Sitting, uh, and I was feeling it, honestly. Um, it's a catchy tune. Again, it's, you know, it's very, um, it's very different. Um, I get the feeling this is an album you wouldn't really jam to in your car. Um, it's one of those albums you kind of have to, you know, at least I would have a plan, I guess, in the background. I wouldn't really, you know, sit down and actually listen to this album track by track. Um, 
It's a pretty decent, uh, decent song. Um, and I actually Googled that uh, Alicia Keys album. I am on a computer, literally, so I could literally just Google it. Um, here, that was the title of Alicia Keys' newest album that came out, t uh, like, two years ago. Um, again, this, uh, album here strongly, um, reminds me of, uh, that album. So just FYI. And track number five is another, I guess, throwaway track, um... It's like 37 seconds, it's called Dreamers, and it's just a whole bunch of kids saying, you know, I want to be this, I want to be that, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a boss, I want to be a teacher. Um, it's inspiring, I guess, but... And next up is Fall in Line with Demi Lovato, um, technically the lead single off of this album. Um, really good song, I love it. Um, Demi Lovato and Christina Aguilera outdo themselves 100% on this song. Their voices meld well together. Um, yeah, I really like it. It's so far, um, probably my favorite track on the, uh, album. Uh, very good song. Track number seven is called... Right Moves featuring Keda, Keda and Shen Z. I butchered those names. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. Um, anyway, Right Moves, um, it, it has a tropical vibe to it. Um, very chill, very relaxed. Um, again, it's, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> Um, just okay. I really don't have an opinion on that song. It's just all right, I guess. Okay, moving on. Track number eight is called Like I Do featuring a gold link. Um, sounds like a Nintendo character. A gold link, like a special edition of Link on like Super Smash Brothers. Lame joke. Anyway, Like I Do. Um... Yeah, I actually really like it. It's probably my second favorite song on the album so far. It's one of the tracks I listened to before the album was released. Um, it was like a pre-release song. Um, I like it. I like the beat. Um, it's, pretty, it's a pretty cool song. I enjoy it. And the next two songs are called Deserve and Twice. Uh, Twice was another pre-released song before the actual album came out. Um, they're both ballads. Um, they're good, I guess. Um, uh, I probably prefer... I guess, I don't know, I guess I like them both equally. Um, they're okay, I guess. <laughs> Um, I just have a hard time adjusting to this album because I'm just so used to pop Christina Aguilar and this is kind of a new turn for her. I mean, she's 37 years old now. Um, she can pretty much just do whatever she wants. She's definitely grown and become more mature as a woman and as a, a songstress. Track number 11 is another interlude song. Um, it's like 55 seconds. Um, I don't need it anymore. Um... It's whatever, honestly. I just... It's just a throwaway song. Skip. <laughs> Track number 12 is Accelerate. It was the... It wasn't the lead single off of the album. That was Fall in Line with Demi Lovato. This was the first song released off the album. More of like a buzz song. Um, When I listened to it, I was indifferent. I wasn't a fan, but I didn't hate it. And then the more I listened to it, the more I enjoyed it. Um, so it's definitely a grower. Um, I can see why people don't like it. Um, it's probably one of my more, it's probably one of the better tracks on the album, I gotta say, in my opinion so far. It's featuring, uh, Ty Dolla Sign. I think that's how you say it. And Two Chains. Um, yeah. Decent song. Next up is track number 13 called Pipe, featuring, I, again, I don't know how to pronounce this name, it's all in capitals, 
XNDA. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Um, it's definitely more soulful, more R&B. Um, again, it's, it's like the rest of the album. It's like, it's good. I don't know. I, I don't really know what to make of a lot of a lot of these songs. Um, <sighs> okay, the second to last track is called Masochist. Um... I was thoroughly impressed with that song. Um, it's probably one of my more favorite songs on the album. It's more of a ballad, I guess. Um, uh, and I actually really enjoy it. Um, I could see myself keeping this song um, and listening to more in the future. Um, yeah, I really like it. Okay, we have come to the last song on the album. Track number 15, Unless It's With You. Okay, so that was a nice little ballad to wrap up the album. Um, unless it's with you. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously she was doing a lot of experimenting with this album, uh, lyrically. Um, not so much vocally. I feel like she didn't really give us the true powerhouse Christina like we're used to. Other than, um... Track number six, Fall in Line with Demi Lovato. This is definitely a lyrical album. Um, it's one of those, you know, albums you kind of have to sit down, listen to, um, and really pay attention to the lyrics. Obviously, she has lots of stories to tell, and there's more deeper meanings behind the lyrics. Um, it's not about the melodies or the bops. Um, I get the impression that, you know, she's been working a while on this, I guess, or maybe not, I don't know. And it seems really personal to her, unless she wouldn't have released it. Um, so, I mean, it's okay. There's a few songs on there I enjoy. I'm not saying this is a bad album. Um, it's a fairly good album if this is your type of, um, I guess, music. You know, if if you're looking for the bops and the catchy hits and the pop music, you know you're not going to find it and you're not going to like this album. But if you're looking for something more meaningful, um, something to kind of, you know, sit back, you know, turn the lights down, you know, a more lyrical album that kind of tells a cohesive story, then this is the album for you. This isn't your generic pop album, like we're used to. Um, so yeah, it's, in to me, it's an okay album. Um... And, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully she will come back with another traditional pop album in the coming years. And hopefully we don't have to wait another six years. Um, just to kind of recap, my favorite songs on the album are Fall in Line. Um, I really did enjoy Sick of Sitting. And probably, like I do, my top three favorite songs. Oh, and Accelerate. Um, so yeah, I guess my top four songs. So yeah, that is my review on Christina Aguilera's Liberation album. Um, check it out. Give your, uh, maybe forge your own opinion on it. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. I am tired. It's like 2.30 in the morning. I'm falling asleep. Sorry for this, you know, weird review. Um, it's hard to gather my thoughts when it's this late. Anyway, have a good night. Bye.